Vibrams plus concrete equals shin splints. Vibrams five finger shoes plus concrete equals shin splints. Welcome in, much love Trev here. And we need to talk about this. If you're a, beautiful scenery by the way, if you're a Vibram wearer, a five finger wearer, we need to talk. I'm making this video because I see people running around with these Vibram five finger shoes, not knowing the kind of damage that these shoes can do to your body. And here's the real deal. There's no evidence that Vibrams are good for your body. In fact, there's the opposite. <laughs> there's a class action lawsuit, it has been a class action lawsuit against Vibrams for implying that they are good for your body. And let's go into details about what Vibrams, the theory is, and why it's flawed. So, the idea is that regular shoes are not good for you. Regular shoes are not good for us because they're not designed for our feet. They're not natural. And if you look at Native American tribes like the Tara Hamara or Tara Humara, who run marathons in the desert just with sandals, what, why are we wearing these clunky shoes? They're not good for us. They're causing a lot of the body and the foot problems. And we can fix those by switching to Vibrams. It's all good in theory except for the fact of concrete. Concrete is unnatural. Concrete is unnatural, and we have plenty of evidence that it's bad for us, especially barefoot. Uh, a lot of that evidence is through elephants and other mammals, but the, the thing about concrete that makes it so bad is the increased pressure. The greatest threat to all of us athletically is imp repetitive impact, arthritis, and concrete plays right into that because it has no give. If we're on soft ground, or rather the earth, there's generally some give. If you're an Indian tribe running through the desert on sand, that's a totally different thing than running barefoot on concrete, right? So if you're gonna go on concrete, you need shoes designed for concrete. Vibrams are not designed for concrete. I get that shoes are not natural, but concrete is not natural. Concrete, by the way, is not designed for the feet. That's not why we have it. Concrete is for wheels. We have concrete for bicycles and cars, pr primarily cars, bike or uh, motorbikes, uh, buses, v f two and four wheeled vehicles, not for feet, right? So if we're gonna go on car territory, we need to armor our feet with regular shoes. If you're gonna be walking around in nature, perhaps Vibrams are better, or at least viable at that point, but you could go barefoot in that situation perhaps, and you might have better results. Does that make sense? No evidence. <laughs> Vibrams plus concrete equals shin splints. No evidence that it doesn't. Ev evidence that it does. In theory, uh, shoes aren't great for the fo foot, designed for the feet, aren't natural, but the reality is concrete is not designed for us, and we need special armor for it, and there's evidence for that. Check the elephant studies and we need to respect the terrain. So if you're gonna go on concrete, wear actual shoes, not Vibrams. Um, if it is off concrete, then, you know, uh, it might be okay. But if, I don't wanna see people running around on concrete. You're, you're uh, dealing yourself arthritis over the long term. Shin splints, it's bad for you, don't do it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Agree or disagree, hate or love it. Are you, do you wear Vibrams or, or what do you think about this? Let's have a discussion. My stance on it is not the start and end of everything, but uh, if you're gonna come with the alternate, let's get some good evidence, solid evidence. So much love, Trav here. Hope that this saved one person from arthritis and take care.